Hello, everyone. Hi there. So I'm here with my friend Jane. This is not the first time we're meeting, but it's the first time we're having an actual conversation. <laughs> and on video. That just mm. sounded weird. I'm um, raiding you guys. <laughs> Oi! My name is not Sven, it is Martin. Yeah. We got to know each other about a, maybe a year ago or two years yeah. ago, and then we met briefly during one of the demonstrations the earlier. Demonstration, yeah. And then we decided, let's meet up and make uh, a video, videos. finally. We made a video on your channel about, uh, well... You, as uh, someone that is interviewing foreigners all the time. Oh. 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 Oh, yeah. And which is something really cool. And also because you fit the international personality. I don't know, you're just different, which is nice. And I wanted to bring it to my channel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How long have you been in Sweden? Because you're not from here. No, I, so yeah, I've been in Sweden for two years and uh, a half, but I'm originally from Ukraine and I'm someone that lived in Spain for 17 years. So I'm half Ukrainian, half Spanish living in Sweden. <laughs> yeah. I'm from Skåne, living in Stockholm. <laughs> That's not as exotic, but Accepted still. by Stockholmers? No, no, no. Yeah. no. I just flashed my blue eyes and went like, oh yeah, and they're like, okay. Mm. As long as you don't open your mouth, it's okay. What were some of the hurdles for you, uh, apart um, from the, your... <laughs> uh, um, just the long distance uh, relationship I had, which was difficult. The paperwork, of course, uh, for me as non-European Union citizen, mm. it makes it longer, a bit more complicated. But yeah, I think it's just the paperwork that was so difficult but then uh, also finding my best job like my my you know kind of dream job something that is not doesn't exist is romanticized I would say but there is of course a perfect job for everyone I think and that is something I missed now I have it and I'm super grateful and happy but like work and paperwork and documents is uh, the most difficult thing for sure a lot of people that follow me uh, are interested in Sweden or Swedish mm. and would hopefully one day want to move here and mm. work here and, and live here. Well, what's your advice? What, what's one of those things that you wish you knew beforehand? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Like, really? I mean, you have a lot of things on, about this on your channel, but... Yeah. Yeah, you can, yeah, yeah, I'm going to promote my challenge, follow over here, <laughs> so you can get to know <laughs> my tips and everything. Do it. But Jesus Christ, um, first of all, like um, the paperwork, like ask someone who knows about the paperwork in Sweden, how it works, get informed, like, mm. I don't know, read at Migrahumsverket website what it says, because they, they really, really respect the deadlines and everything and if you miss something you're i don't know if i can swear here but you're you fucked. <laughs> so but not in a good way so really like make sure make sure you understand the process just get informed uh, and if you can get the job before moving to sweden do it and if you can get relocated by your company if there's a possibility for your company to relocate you I know some people that got relocated, but this is Spotify people, they're privileged. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are not, me neither. <laughs> but like, if you can get relocated, that would be amazing. But like, really get, get inform, informed and uh, also update your LinkedIn profile if you're looking for a job. Like LinkedIn is like 95, 96% a must mm. to look, you know, to find a job because all the jobs are there and like, it's just a must in Sweden. I think it's just, it's just your freaking CV online, like, yeah. do it, do it, <laughs> so yeah, and then... And, and don't just update it when you're about to change jobs. It's exactly. Like, fr like yeah, somewhat yeah. frequently. You need recommendation, you need your, it's not like you, yeah. you know, you have your LinkedIn and one person following you. <laughs> <laughs> just build up your network. And once you're in Sweden, just build up your network, like talk to people and just really get ready, like, yeah. And uh, bring up the personality and the spirit. It's gonna be tough and you need patience. I really, really needed patience. Do you know how many times 
did I want to just be back in Sweden? Uh, in Spain. Like, 17 times. No, uh, ma maybe more. I cried, I shed uh, tears, rivers. <laughs> really, it was really difficult. Like, was, I was so freaking, like, I, I'm just giving up this country. I'm just give up on this country. This country just doesn't accept me. But the coffee, man. <laughs> a coffee? <laughs> oh, that is a different story. The uh, best coffee in Sweden. She, she made a video, I'm going to link it below, uh, where she talked about the things that she miss when she's not in Sweden. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. The digitalization, the structure and discipline in Sweden, the calmness. Like no one, yeah, no one bothers you really. And uh, the coffee, the coffee is freaking Swedish coffee is the best coffee. Amazing. And someone actually left a comment saying that Sweden is a really good country when it comes to like roasting coffee. Mm. And also someone mentioned that the water and the water in Sweden is freaking amazing. Mm. I'm sorry, but I have to buy water in Barcelona. If I don't buy water, I have no water. You cannot like tap water is not as good as in Sweden. In Sweden it's like I literally go er every night I go to bed and say, yeah, you know how grateful I am for drinking this water. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's overrated, Sweden. I'm over here talking too much. <laughs> I'm joking, but really, it's, it's true. Coffee, water, and then if you get a sweet, a little bit of alcohol in them, or her, she might even start being social. When it comes to making friends, a sweet is still something difficult. And it's not the first time I hear it mm. from foreigners around that it's... Do you guys have any friends that are sweets? Mm, not really. Mm. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I feel like we're on the verge of breaking that pattern here. Yeah, yeah. Hang out with more international people and you will get the vibe. Or yeah. live somewhere abroad for a while. And <laughs> yeah. But maybe it's just because people don't trust, as we talked, in, as, as I said before, like maybe yeah. people don't, don't trust. But once they know you, they open up. That is, some, that, that is something I always heard about sweets. That, you yeah. tell me. <laughs> that, it's true. How do you survive uh, with the Swedish language at first? Um, my problem with Swedish language is that I feel shy or incompetent. Mm -hmm. I think I don't try enough. I'm self-critical person I know I'm aware of it but hmm on my defense I can say that I went from SFE switch for, for immigrants yeah. to Svatria switch as a second language three in one year and a half which means that I can defend myself pretty well but I'm super super afraid of making mistakes mistakes oh. in front of people and being ridiculous but Girl, I just have on my like, my my background is like, I have six languages yeah. besides Swedish. So, how do you explain that? <laughs> I don't know. But Swedish yeah. is a thing. Like Swedish is a complicated language. Uh -huh. But yeah, I do use it. I use it like maybe forty percent at work, mm. and I have to use it because. Yeah. And sometimes people don't know where I'm coming from. People think I'm Swedish, and so people talk to me in Swedish, and it was like, girl. You are privileged, like, speak! So yeah, I don't know. I do my stuff. Tell them why should they follow you, aside from the obvious. Um, you guys, I am not someone that I'm going to obligate anyone to follow me because it's your choice. If you like my con content, you can actually check out my channel. And if you like it, just subscribe and share it around. and form part of my online YouTube family that I love so much.